Hey guys, Ace Trainer Liam here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. Answer me the question of the day, which comes from... Uh, from Jay Green 528 What is your favorite Pokemon game, including side games? I'm just going to go out and say, I'm just going to say it. It's Sword and Shield. I love me some Sword and Shield. I get to play Pokemon on my TV, and the graphics look lovely. I mean, I'd like the graphics to look like Let's Go, but that's my only real criticism of the game, to be honest. Like, I love playing Sword and Shield. I liked the story. It was good enough for me. I liked the selection of Pokemon that were in there. I just all around enjoyed it. So, Sword and Shield for me. Let me know your favourites down in the comments below. And, of course, suggest a question of the day for everybody to answer with the hashtag ATLQOTD over on Twitter. Hit me with a power cord. Victory is mine. It's our time to shine. Whoa, well, yeah. Now, remember, yesterday, we did lose our starter Pokemon. And it's a sad day. And I'm very unhappy. And I'm really annoyed that we lost our starter Pokemon to a crit Dragon Claw from a Rayquaza that took all of our HP. That's sad times. But we're trying our best, all right? We're against a Fero with Queenie. I don't like the sound of that. I'm going to switch to Stamphoros. Remember, we're going to head to Route 120. I think we can do that so that we can go... Uh, oh, Pursuit. So we can go um, maybe catch a new Pokemon, see what's available, and then we'll take on the Four Tree Gym. That's the plan. Whether it comes to fruition, I guess I guess we'll see. Let's face this next person. Hello. To look in shadows and live in darkness, that is my destiny. I am urged to challenge you. All right, well, you challenge me because I'm not in the mood. Although one good thing that's happening at the moment is Code Ace is 30% off right now for G Fuel. So, you know, go to G Fuel's link in the description. Use Code Ace. In fact, the link in the description will apply Code Ace to your order without you even needing to do anything. So that's always an option. You know what I'm saying? Let's take out this Kabuto with Penelope. Going to use Leah. I'm going to use Dig. Let's just get this battle done and out the way and dusted. Like, this guy's nobody. All right. Oh, okay. There's another ninja person here. Okay, cool. Hello. Tie the tree, use a forest. Doesn't really make sense, but sure. Whatever you want, mate. You've got two Pokemon, and one of them's a Sableye. Oh, Queenie, you can't actually do anything to a Sableye. You don't have the right tools, but Penelope does. Penelope's going to take down this uh, Sableye, have it destroyed, have it massacred, have it murked, mate. Here's a crunch. Watch this crunch. Look at that. Oh, it's not quite that good. Here's an Astonish, and here's a crunch. Good night, Sableye, and now a Mighty Enna, who's going to fall to my Karate Chop. Karate Chop says, nah. Sand Attack says, all right. And Karate Chop says, nah, there you go. Down he goes. Penelope wants Dragon Breath, which by all means, do you know what? Instead of, oh God, instead of what though? All these moves have been really super helpful. I'm going to say I'm going to get rid of Karate Chop just because, oh, it has a high crit ratio though. Okay, dig, because it's a two turn attack. That's that's why. We'll get Earthquake later and it'll be boshed as oh. And now we're in Fortree City, baby. Oh, Fortree City is banging. He says, going to the Pokemon Center so that no longer do we hear the Fortree City music. You have a Pokedav, it's just like mine. Know about Pokemon's match call system? I, I don't care. What about you? You're working on Pokedex? Go to Safari Zone, that's my suggestion. I would love to. Did I have the record corner? I don't care about the record corner. Get out of here. Who's this old man? City consists of homes built in trees, perhaps because their lifestyle, everyone is healthy and lively. Or even myself, I feel as I've grown 30 years younger. Yeah, all right. Pokemon, they evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. You heard right. Hello. Living on top of trees is okay, but sometimes bug Pokemon come in through windows. It can be really startling. I mean, put glass in your windows then. Wow, this place is like a tree house. The ground absorbs rainwater and the trees grow by drinking that water. Our fortune city exists because there's both water and soil. And because you're in my freaking way. I want to go to the Pokemon gym, but there's something blocking the way. After all the bother I went through. Oh, we, we have to go to Route 120. That's true. Right, Route 120, baby. There's a trainer. Oh, no. I want a Pokemon. Why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you can win against me. Is it because you don't like having the use of both your arms? I don't know. Wormpool, meet Queenie. Queenie is looking to finish her quest to evolve into a Sea Queen. So if you could accommodate that, that'd be beautiful. That was a lovely crit, Queenie. Well done. Down goes Wormpool. 324 experience. That's not a lot. Breloom. Oh, Breloom, you are quite the nemesis of our Queenie. So I'm just going to swap a Rooney to Stamforosuni. You have a counter. You're rude. Here's an eruption. 
which isn't affected by counter. So try using that again. That'd be grand. That's going to do a hecking poo heap of damage. Look at that. That's an absolute hecking poo heap of damage right there. Down goes Breloom. And Queenie's experience continues. Right, who's going to be on this route? Who's going to be my next team member? Please don't be on call. Please be cool. I'll take it. I'll take a Porygon. All right. All right. Hey, Porygon. I'm happy to have a Porygon on the team. That's quite interesting. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit the old uh, hit the old horn attack. I don't think we'll knock it out. It's a Porygon. Yeah, you see, we're all right. Do another. Oh, recover. Oh, God. It's going to be one of those. Okay, sharpen. Raises its attack. Horn attack, please. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in my bag and get a great ball. Go on, Porygon. Go on, Porygon. Go on. Hey! Porygon in the first ball. Thank you. It's the virtual Pokemon. It's capable of reverting itself entirely back to program data in order to enter cyberspace. A Porygon is copy protected, so it cannot be duplicated. Tell that to PK Hex. Right. Let's go and name our Porygon. What's a cool Space Age cyber name? Ooh. There's no symbols, I just realized. Yeah, there's no si Oh, there is. Remember this name from back in the day, lads? Remember this name? ATL2. Beautiful. ATL2's in the team, and it's got the, the ability and the skills... It copies your ability. It's adamant. An adamant Porygon. The f heck is the world coming to? Uh, what items can we give it? What, uh... Well, let's give him a... Let's give him an amulet coin. Oh, let's give him leftovers, actually. Yeah, let's give you leftovers. And I want TMs, TMs. What can you learn? Actually, an adamant Porygon is quite good because, yeah, let's give him Swift. Because he's not able to learn Swift in because of the type of move that, yeah, okay. That's annoying. Um, give him Aerial Ace because that's physical. Yeah, he's, he's normal type, which is physical, which means that normal type moves. Yeah, that, that's quite good, actually. Uh, give him Sword Stance. He's not able. You know what? It seems like he can't learn anything. <laughs> He can learn secret power. Let's give him secret power for now. Because he's got Psybeam, but Psybeam is special, isn't it? So we could give him... Yeah, we could give him secret power instead of agility. Yeah, go on. For now. Right, we need to heal him. And I feel like going to the Pokemon Center to do that. Oh, God. Anyone here want to do something cool? Oh, there, a bird Pokemon. Right. What about you? Being together with Pokemon makes people more and more friends. Right, that that's bollocks. No one believes me, but I saw this gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to be squirm as it flew towards Route 131. By the way, you smell singed. Were you in a volcano or something? Thank you, I smell singed. It does wonders for my confidence. Strong, what's the thing you got there? Oh, it's got a Pokedex. It's really awesome. Thanks. Well, speaking about Pokedexes, I remember something. I met this trainer, Steven, who was searching for rare stones. Yeah, great. Steven Stone searches for stones. How great. What are you doing, Granny? People with Pokemon, their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Let's solve them and see if your hidden power is awoken. Hold a coin in my hand. Tell me, is it the right hand or the left? Right hand. Yes, correct. We should try again. Left. No, too bad. You guessed wrong. Okay. Uh, right hand. Right hand. Correct. Left hand. Hidden power is awoken. Take this. It's TM10, which I believe is hidden power. Nice. Are you going to tell me what my Pokemon's hidden power is? Oh. Teach your Pokemon how to mud shot. Interested? Okay. ATL2 can learn Mudshot. That's, it's physical. Actually, oh, I could teach it to Penelope. Penelope's physical. But what would we get rid of? Yeah, stop trying to learn Mudshot. Teach it to ATL2 for now. Actually, teach it to Cruella. Yeah, because that, that would give Cruella an edge against other poison types. Yeah, get rid of Poison Sting. There you go. Le learn that. That's cool. Now then. Last place in Fortree City. Hello. 
Well, I did. Give me a palapa. I anything for it. Uh, did you hear that? My shot from the bottom of my heart. Having a that would trade palapa for clay doll. No, I don't have a palapa. Although I would make that trade. That's not a bad trade. Right, now we're at the Pokemon Center. Heal ourselves up and we'll go look for Steven because I think we just have to proceed on Route 120. Yeah, just proceed on Route 120. And we'll eventually find our way to Stevie Boy. Why? Oh, I can't get past there because of Kecleon. Yeah, that's right. What's here? What's here? An elixir. Nice. Elixir balls. Aha, <laughs> get it? Oh, hello, Weedle. Queenie, uh, actually, yeah, I want to get Queenie up to a Seeking. Oh, are you kidding me? Bloody poison. I was going to say, I want to get Queenie up to being a Seeking before I start working on my Porygon. I don't have an upgrade, do I? And I don't think I've ever had an upgrade in this, uh, in this playthrough. I could really use one, though, because I could do with a Porygon, too. That'd be handy. My Pokemon is strong. What about yours? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Eh? You've got a Haunter. Oh, okay. Queenie can't do anything against Haunter. I need to give Queenie another move. Uh, let's bring in Penelope, because Penelope got Crunch. Oh, you've used Curse, idiot. Crunch, kill him. What are we? What are we giving? Okay, yep. Yeah, call me on the Pokenav any time. Uh, we need TMs and HMs. So Queenie is a water type, which is a special type. Although she's a physical attacker because she's... Yeah, okay. Teach her Crunch. Uh, yeah, Queenie can actually learn Crunch, which is banging. So, you know what? Get rid of Fury. Get rid of Water Sport. Yeah. What else can she have? Uh, crunch is a special attack. So why did you give her that? Because I forgot that Crunch is a special attack. Oh, yeah. Can she learn Aerial Ace? No. Yeah, anything... So, like, Bug is physical, yeah? She can't learn Silver Wind. Swift? She can learn Swift, which never misses, but then she's got Horn Attack, so she doesn't need Swift. Okay, hello. Hi, it's, uh, hi, it's been a while. There's something that, uh, here that you can't see. It's because I have my trousers up, but if you don't mind, I'd like to remove them. Rather than describing it, I'll just show it to you. Have a look. That'd be more fun. Oh dear, that, that dialogue really didn't work with that, that meme. Are your Pokemon ready for battle? Show me your true power as a trainer. Alright. It's a Devon Scope. Do you know what? This is normally a Kecleon. This is normally a static Pokemon. I'm going to count it as an encounter. It's a Kecleon. Oh my word. Kecleon has attacked. But what is it? What could it be? <gasps> it's a Swellow. Oh, now. It's a level 30 Swellow at that. Supersonic. And we land it. Queenie. Oh, yes, Queen. Let's go. Swellow is going to use double team. All right. That's a bit of a problem. Let's go for a horn attack. It's a good hit. Oh, snapped out confusion. Went for double team. Oh, God. Uh, it went for Endeavor. That failed. Okay. Let's go for Supersonic. It went for wing attack. Oh, oh Queenie. You got to be careful. Let's, uh, let's use... I need to buy... I didn't buy more, uh, super potions. And I only have four. Swallow's confused. Double team. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Uh, horn attack. Oh, endeavor. Okay. Quick attack. Oh, okay. We may... Do you know what? Switch to... Switch to Stamphoros. Wing attack, not very effective. Thunder Waff. Oh, Thunder Wave, come on. Thunder Wave. Okay, Static paralyzed it. That's good news. Let's go ahead and Great Ball it. Get us a Swellow. To be honest, this might actually replace Porygon already. Because, like, a Swellow is a really good, a really good choice to have on the team. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Plus, it can learn Fly. And that's going to be really handy. That's true. Oh, come on. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. You are hurting me quite a bit, actually. I need to... I need to... Yeah, you're using Endeavor on me quite a bit. And stuff of that nature. So, I'm going to use a Super Potion real quick. Thank you. You're fully paralyzed. I want to use a, po a Great Ball. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You fucker. All right, double team. 
Pokeball? Just a regular old Pokeball? Go on. Okay, this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while. Uh oh. Uh oh, I should have I should have healed and I didn't. Oh boy. It's okay, because we caught Swallow. There we go. We gotta. We gotta. Swallow's date was added to Pokedex. It's the Swallow Pokemon. When a Swallow dives upon prey from far above, it never misses its targets. It takes to the skies in search of lands with a warm climate. Oh, what are we going to call our Swallow? I'm going to call her Jade. I'm going to call her Jade. Because even though she's a Swallow, she kind of looks like a Blue Jay color-wise. So I'm calling her Jade. I see. Your battle style is very intriguing. I like the way you use your muscles. Your Pokemon have obviously grown very muscly since I first met you in Duford. I'd like to have this Devon scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed muscles hiding in your body. Thank you. Thank you for the Devon scope. Cool. Ace, I enjoy seeing muscles and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great and looking very muscly. Well, let's meet again somewhere. Private. Bye. Let's head on through. Aw, oh, do I keep my Porygon or do I, do I use Swallow? Ooh, ooh, and of course, we have this old chestnut, yep. I'm not counting this as a static encounter, because like, we've already got one Kecleon in this route. Oh, a Hound Hour though. I kind of wish I had decided to count it. Uh, let's go ahead and Horn Attack it. It's a good hit. There's Howl. It's Attack Rose. Uh, should we try and kill it? Okay, it went for Howl again, so... As long as we hit this horn attack, which we have done, it's okay. Queenie's going to hit level 31. She Gucci. Queenie's level 31, I'm happy. I'm thinking maybe, maybe we do swap in Swallow just because, like, that's going to be super freaking handy having a Swallow on the team. Yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's wise. So let's go ahead. Oh my god, I just realized the Kecleon in Fortree City is on a different route to everything else. So I'm going to count that as an encounter. And there ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Yeah, you know what? Move Pokemon. That's the dead box, so you should not be there with that riffraff. Uh, but you are going in the party. No, wait. You need to go here first. Place. And then you are going in the party. Instead of Porygon. Just because, like, Porygon's great and all. I love it. But we got a Swallow, and that's going to be super, super handy. Place you right there. You're holding the leftovers, so I need to move items. Yep, you have an item. I've put all my excess items on these Pokemon because otherwise I'm screwed. Take that and let's give the, the leftovers to our, our good old Swallow. Why not? Yeah, and we'll have a look at Jade while we're there. So, Jade is obviously a Swallow. Obviously holding leftovers. Rash Nature, I don't remember what effect that has. Oh, it's Gut Swallow though, which is absolutely class. Alright, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Gut Swallow is a great call. Oh, that's so lucky. Right, let's get Super Potions. Because they're importante. Do we get Hyper Potions now? We do. <gasps> Hyper Potions is where it's at, boy. 20 Hyper Potions. And I'll take 14 Supers. Oh, we have Ultra Balls as well. We don't need Ultra Balls yet. Get Ultra Balls after the gym. Because the gym is going to be the problem for the time being. Uh, so we'll head over here. We have to get down. Should have gone for the back route. So yeah, I'm gonna count the I'm gonna count the, the Kecleon in Fortree City as an, a separate encounter because of course it's in Fortree City. So let's see what the Devon Scope gives us. Oh, it fled. Oh, so it's not an encounter. Oh, I hate that. That's really ridiculous. Right in the gym. I'm pissed off. Let's go in the gym. I remember this gym. This gym's lovely. Oh, but it's a different direction to the one we're used to. Hello. When Winona takes to battle, her face shines with a beautiful determination. All right, simp. I'm not letting you witness that lovely sight. Mate, it ain't gonna happen. She ain't gonna date you. It's all right, though. Because you're Juggler Joey. With a Sea King. I want a Sea King. That's not fair. Should we see if Queenie can beat a Sea King? Yes. Supersonic. Oh, you went for Fury Attack. That's... Oh, actually, that's not bad. Okay. Four hits. We hit the supersonic though, baby. Let's go. Let's go for... I mean, Crunch is stronger, isn't it? Seeking is confused. No, cr Okay, be scared of the horn attack. Uh, I was going to say, horn attack's better because it's physical. 
not special, but we did drop your special defense. Uh, I need a super potion for Queenie, please. Hurt yourself in confusion. Good. Right. Horn attack, because it's physical, and Queenie is physical. Good hit. Snap attack confusion. Went for horn attack. Supersonic it is. Oh, you went for supersonic. Cheeky. I went for supersonic, and I landed it. Look how good I am. Horn attack. Let's go, Queenie. You got this. Seeking's confused. It hurts itself in its confusion. This could be it, lads. Seeking is confused. It went for fury attack and missed. Yes. Well done, Queenie. You beat your evolved form. That means you have to be. You have to become a Seeking now. You just got 1,092 experience for battering a Seeking. Nice. Queenie, mate. Super potion it up. Turn up. Right, this has to go this way. And then we go here, and it's a double battle? I love that. Oh, the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. Well, don't have taught me personally. You can't beat me easily. Well, let's see just how easily I can beat you. Come on. What you got? No grass types. Marowak, no electric types. Igglybuff. Marowak and Igglybuff? I could take these. Oh, Queenie and Stamfrost. Okay, Stamfrost versus Marowak. Not a good shout. But we are going to go for a horn attack on the Igglybuff and switch to... Jade? Yeah, get Jade in there. Why not? Queenie goes horn attack. Oh, it's a good hit. Drop our defense. All right. Igglybuff goes defense curl. Maybe thinking of rollout. Does Igglybuff get rollout? We're going horn attack. Igglybuff. We're going, oh my word, wing attack on Marowak. Might keep double team on Jade for quite a while. There's the horn attack taking out the Igglybuff. Perfect. Good stuff. You're... Oh, you've each got three Pokemon. Okay. Oh, my God. Just happens to have Kyogre. Oh, my God. It's going to have Thunder. Oh, no. That is a problem. And we're on low defense. We need to switch out. We need to switch out. Uh, we need to switch both Pokemon out. We need to switch to Stamphoros. And we need to switch to Penelope. Oh, but the rain's up. So, it could be risky if it goes for, like, Water Pulse. Yeah, but... Okay, went for Body Slam. That's not too bad at all. Oh, I got the Paralysis, of course. Uh, focus Energy on that Marowak. I'm a bit worried about that. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking... Strength. I'm thinking Concentrate All Fire on the Marowak real quick. We could go Water Spout with the Rain Up. That will kill Marowak. There's a Body Slam. Okay. Stand Frost, use Strength to weaken the Marowak a little bit. And then Marowak went ahead, but that's very lucky that it outsped us, but went for the wrong move. That's good news. A Bone Meringue would have killed Stamphoros. That's going to take out Marowak, thankfully. That's going to damage Kyogre a little bit. Not bad. Okay. Queenie's doing all right. Okay. And you're sending out Smoochum. That's not, that's not a big deal. Okay. So we can go Thunder Punch on Kyogre, and we can go... We can go Dragon Breath on Kyogre. There's the body slam. That's fine on Penelope. She can take it. Thunder punch on Kyogre. Come on, stand for us. Come on, stand for us. Oh, not quite there. Powder snow. Oh, God. Powder snow. It's four times effective on Penelope. Okay, it's fine. It's a smoochum. It's a smoochum. Okay, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. All right. Down goes the big threat. Down goes the big threat. Okay. Penelope, you're all right. Who, who's next? Loudred. Okay, Loudred isn't too big of a deal. Stamphoros is going to go Eruption. Penelope is going to go for Super Potion on herself. Yes. Could have done with a Hypo, to be honest. There's the Eruption. It's going to land on both the opponents. Smoochum should get one shot. Oh, it didn't. Okay. That's concerning. Oh, the rain's still up, isn't it? Okay, there's Powder Snow. That's concern. Oh my god, that was a crit on Penelope. Loudred used Astonish, but it's okay, it wasn't on Penelope. Oh my days. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. In that case, you go for Thunder Punch on Smoochum. Just take it out of the game, and you go for a Hyper, okay? Hyper Potion on Penelope. Thank you. There's the Thunder Punch. Down goes the Smoochum. 
Articuno. Okay. Okay. Now Penelope needs switching out. Loudred is unable to move, which is great. Uh, yes, I would like Stamphoros to use Thunder Wave on the Articuno. And I would like you to switch right out into a water type. Please. Yeah, there's the Powder Snow, which would have... Oh, don't you dare. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, Stamphoros was frozen. It's fine. Stamphoros can get out of it, I think. There's Uproar. That's not bad. Okay, Stamphoros, go Eruption. You go Acid... Yes. Articuno is now sped up. Stamphoros is frozen solid. There's the Acid. Not bad. There's the Uproar still going. Eruption, please. Acid, please. Agility, that's fine. Stamphoros is frozen solid. There's the Acid. It's a nice hit. Loud reduced Uproar again. Go for the same again. Stamphoros is still frozen solid. Great hit on the Loudred. Loudred used Uproar. We're okay. <gasps> no, it was a crit. No, 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 no. I wasn't expecting a crit. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is all falling apart. Queenie. Finish him off. Oh, my God. Rain continues to fall. Uh, you go for Eruption. You go for Horn Attack on... On the Loudred. Your Powder Snow's fine. It's fine. Stand Frost is frozen solid. Horn attack takes out the Loudred. Thank you. That's good. Queenie, 243 experience. Stan Frost, you're okay. Stan Frost, I need you to use Eruption, mate. Horn attack. Yep, Stan Frost is frozen solid. Queenie's gonna win this. Queenie wins this for the team. Oh my god. Thank you very much, Queenie. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm going to the Pokemon Center and I'm never coming back. We lost Cruella. Which I didn't see happening ever. Oh my days. Uh, let's get back in the gym in a minute. Who, who are we going to put in place of Cruella? Deposit Pokemon. Cruella, you're, you're going into box 14. Oh my god. Uh, withdraw Pokemon. Oh god. Uh... I forgot we had a Pikachu called Ufa. Uh, well, I mean, we just got rid of a ground type. So, no, we just lost a water and poison type. You know what? Now that we don't have Speedy, I think it's Gilberg's time. Because I could put Banassi in for a poison and ground type. But why don't I get my water and rock? Because then I have my self-destruct resistor. Actually, to be fair, any, any of my higher level Pokemon could probably resist self-destruct now. I think. So, I guess Nidoqueen? Yeah, let's go for Benassi. You know what? Let's go for Benassi. She needs a lot of training. But let's do it. Let's let's absolutely do it. Let's, let's heal up. And we'll face the rest of the gym in the next episode, which is going to be horrible. Yeah. Let's get Banassi up front, just so we can get some mega training on her. ASAP. Rest in peace, Cruella. Thank you for watching this episode, though. This is where I'm going to leave it today. We're going to go back in the gym and finish it off in tomorrow's episode. Not tomorrow's episode. Yeah, the next episode. Hit like if you enjoyed. Hit subscribe if you're new. Use code ACE for... What day is it? It's the 24th of June, apparently, I think. So if it's the 24th of June, then until tomorrow, G Fuel will be 30% off, but then it ends tomorrow. So use that. Use code ACE. For 30% off, because you won't get 30% off unless you use code ACE, obviously. You do that, and then until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training. <laughs>